Across the United States, 80% of vehicles on interstates are exceeding the speed limit. A study clocked many vehicles traveling as fast as 93 miles per hour. And more than 41 million citations are issued by law enforcement for speeding each year. There are various technologies law enforcement uses to catch speeding vehicles. The most common among these technologies is the handheld radar gun. The radar system can also be mounted on the patrol car. Municipal Enforcement Cameras These cameras captures images of speed violators which can be included in mailed tickets along with fines for speeding infractions. These devices reduce the need for the local police force to patrol speeding, allowing officers to focus on other areas of need. Washington, D.C., for example, issued nearly 600,000 citations using the devices in 2013, compared to just over 80,000 tickets issued by police officers during the same time period. Pacing is when the officer follows the motorist at a constant speed, using the speedometer to get an idea of their speed. There is no radar involved. Only an estimate of the traveling speed of the motorist. The officer can then initiate a stop and write a ticket based on the estimate. In some areas you may see a sign indicating traffic is being patrolled by aircraft. The pilot will radio down to another officer on the ground, who then pulls over the speeding motorist. Typically, that officer is waiting and ready to go at a predetermined location. This type of enforcement is an expensive operation and not common. But there are still areas around the country that employ this method. Safety radars measure the speed of approaching traffic and display that speed to alert drivers how fast they are traveling. The purpose of these system is not to issue speeding tickets. They are reminders to slow down in areas known for speeding. There may however be an officer nearby writing tickets for those drivers choosing not to slow down. Recently, the European Union provisionally agreed to require all cars made from 2022 come equipped with speed limiters. It's been estimated that 2,000 deaths could be prevented in Europe and the US just by dropping the vehicle speeds by 1 km per hour. The vehicle is automatically slowed down if the speed limit is exceeded. In the United States, a current proposal to require commercial vehicles such as large semi-trucks to have speed limiters is being debated. A fierce opposition exists however among American drivers to have any limits placed on their perceived freedom to speed. But a speed limiter technology is now being tested in New York City. All city-owned government vehicles are having the systems installed. The initial results of New York City's speed limiting technology pilot have been encouraging, prompting officials to push for a massive expansion of the program in the coming years. Since speed is the number one killer on our roadways, enforcement cameras and speed detectors are used by agencies on our highways and city roads to increase safety and to better control the flow of traffic. Although these technologies may help reduce injury and deaths, they are often expensive to implement. Ultimately reducing driving speed is up to the individual. It is our responsibility to treat driving seriously. By setting an example to our friends and family what mature driving really means, we can have a positive effect on our local driving environment.